<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. <laughs> um, right. Speaking of mushrooms, <laughs> this is something that I get wrong all the time. This is one of the other things I wanted to ask you. What, what is, um, there's some very close relationship that mushrooms have and the absorption of mushrooms have to DMT. Mm-hmm. What, what is the chemical d- differentiation? Okay, very, very slight, actually. Um, uh, the temptation to start drawing structures is almost irresistible. You want to write some stuff down? Go ahead. Well, draw, draw no, it down. It'd be uh, awesome. I mean, Here, here's a pen. Even, do we have a visual No, we don't, but I'll this? save that piece of paper. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I don't want to get too far into it, but basically, okay, so you've had organic chemistry, yeah? <laughs> no. No? Okay. <laughs> Well, then this may I be am a, organic this chemistry. May, you are. Well, you are organic chemistry. Well, this may be a useless thing, but it's this definitely not is useless. The, here we go. We can see it up on the wall here. We've got it up on the screen. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, we don't have to draw a structure. You can look so. at it here, right here, so you don't have to turn around. Look to your right, Dennis. Turn and look. It's on uh, this one as okay. well. Okay. So right. So you can see if you. So there's serotonin, psilocin, and dimethyltryptamine. Wow. You can see that silicon and dimethyltryptamine are very close in structure. The only difference is that hydroxy group, that OH group. That's the only it. difference. So with That's that removed, silicon is exactly the same thing as NN dimethyltryptamine. That's correct. Wow. But that single trivial difference is what makes silicon orally active wow. and dimethyltryptamine is not. Wow. Wow. Because what's going on with that, this... The static diagram, a different molecular model would show up. But what's going on is that that nitrogen there, in when silicon's in physiological solution, the nitrogen is charged, has a positive charge. The oxygen doesn't have the H there. It has a negative charge. So the nitrogen curls back and is in close association with the oxygen if this makes mm-hmm. any sense. Yeah, no, so the, the enzyme can't get to it. That's why it's orally active, oh. because essentially it can't get to that nitrogen. What that enzyme does is cleave off that nitrogen, monoamine oxidase. It takes away that nitrogen. And it can't do it with psilocin. So that's why psilocin's orally active. It doesn't require an MAO inhibitor. It's just, in some ways, it's the perfect psychedelic, because it you know, no preparation needed. You just bend over and pick the mushroom. No preparation is required, which is probably why very ancient man knew about psilocybin. They couldn't they couldn't not have if they were living in an environment where it was found. 